Okay, this is Orlando Wilson. And what I want to talk about on this video is jealousy within the close protection business. And this applies to life in general. The close protection business is full of egos, full of jealousy, full of everybody who wants to make it big and they'll do anything to do it, including stab you in the back and walk all over you if you give them the opportunity. I've been in the close protection business now, security business for over 30 years. So I don't think anybody can be an expert in this business, but I understand how things work and I understand people. Now, I've had it over the years where guards have tried to approach clients to take on to cut me out of the contract. Clients try to approach guards, etc. What generally happens when things start off good, contracts start off good, and then generally with the guards, close protection personnel, they think they're doing all the work and you're doing nothing, so they want to cut you out of the picture. They, they, they think they can run the job and make more money from the client than they're making. Maybe usually a few bucks an hour extra. The clients think that they can save money by hiring the guards directly and cut you out of the picture. So you've got two sides there, the thing looking for opportunities to make money and save money. What usually happens, I've been lucky, I'm lucky with the people I employ because I don't employ unknowns most of the time. Well, I don't, these days I wouldn't do it. Over the years I have and I've had problems. If a client approaches my guys, which has happened in the past, my guys tell me why. They know if the client will go around me, they'll go around them in the future. The clients, I've had clients tell me my guys have approached them and the clients know that if my guys will try and cut me out the picture, they'll also screw up the client. So this comes down to, again, basic reputation, honesty, etc. And from the guard's point of view, a lot of this comes down to Everybody wants to be successful, but they see it as being a, a quick route to success of bypassing you. And people don't understand it takes a lot of work to build a company, to build a good reputation and get the contracts. Um, dealing with jealous people is, is part of life, especially if, you do, if you're doing anything which puts you ahead of the game. Um, even those you class as friends, who you think are your friends, when you're looking the other way, they'll be trying to put the knife in your back, especially when there's, if there's any money concerned. If people think they can make an extra $10 and screw, and it means screwing you over, they'll do it. If they think that they'll get brownie points by talking rubbish about you when you're not there, they will do it. If people can do anything to discredit you to a client because they think it gives them a one-up, they will do it. And again, the basis of this is, to me, they're jealous. I know jobs, people that's taken over jobs. Um, and one comes to mind in particular. After the person, the contract was up, he went in, sideswiped somebody, took the contract. He lasted, the job lasted two weeks. He crashed. Why? It was out of his league. He never had the people to work on the contract. What I understand, the clients liked him, but when they realized he BS'd his way into the contract and couldn't, couldn't do what he said, they, uh, they weren't too happy. Within two weeks, this guy lost a lot of, lost four good guys I know of their jobs. He fired them or they walked off the job and the job just collapsed because he never had the people to man it. His, his roof for that, his, the agency he was working under was a regular security guard company that couldn't provide the required personnel. I doubt if any of them owned a suit or anything that wasn't a uniform. And also the area they were working in was a little bit uh, upscale and there was no bus routes to that area. So I'm sure that screwed up the transportation plans of most of the employees of that company. But the guy was gonna make it big. Another job comes to mind where somebody took it over without having the uh, right licenses. Guy never had, guy took the contract, thought he'd work on the sly without having an agency license to work under. So the person he took the contract off <coughs> and he caused an incident to discredit this guy to take the contract. 
big incident which cost cost this guy or well, cost him the contract. Um, the person he took the contract off knew this guy never had the right agency licenses. Called Florida Division of Licensing. They went and inspected and somebody not only lost the contract they just took over but also they had issues for uh, running an unlicensed security agency. So this is where as I said, with money, where money's concerned, especially it doesn't have to be big, big amounts of money, but where money's concerned, trust no one. Always cover your ass. Make sure your clients are tied into good contracts and they know you will enforce them. Ensure your guards, your people, are signed into good non-compete agreements. And in a lot of places now, I know in the US, a non-compete will is enforceable. Um, Generally, if you take somebody to court after they, if they try to steal a contract or like, when you fire them, etc., if you need to take them to court, they, they generally get a six-month uh, ban from working within a certain mileage of that client. So, a lot depends where you are, but make sure legally you got everybody tied up, and make sure they know that you will enforce. But again, if you get to any level of success people will be trying to screw you over. As far as money's concerned, don't trust anybody. Because if people will come after your money, they'll come after your reputation. Um, these days with social media, you mean we've lost, I've lost YouTube accounts, LinkedIn accounts, Facebook accounts, etc. due to haters just bashing content, bashing content and just reporting you. If people report you enough, in the end, the social media networks, platforms will tend to block your stuff or take you down or something. And we've had stupid stuff blocked and taken down, which other people have posted, news issues, etc. Um, videos and other people seem to be okay to post them, but we obviously offended people. It's not that we've offended people. We, got, we had a lot of haters hitting the... Uh, how can I put it, hitting the complaint buttons on the on the posts. And in the end, the social media platforms will take note and you'll end up having issues. These days, social media annoys me, but you need it for business. So be very careful what you do. And if you don't know people, don't trust them. If you know people, you can trust them to their limits. That's it. Um, I've got an array of books online to do with security business, three to do specifically with close protection. We're throwing out a lot of videos these days on um, various aspects of the close protection world, security world, personal security, kidnap and ransom. Um, so follow us on social media. Check my books out on Amazon, but follow us on YouTube, LinkedIn, Instagram, etc., etc., um, to be updated on the videos we're throwing out there. If you have any relevant questions and you're connecting with me on social media, feel free to reach out with relevant questions.